I come from a very tough, rough district in Belfast. As a matter of fact, I was over a couple of weeks ago visiting my mother and I saw a Rockweiler with a stick in its mouth. <laughs> and I thought, if they have to be armed... <laughs> oh, we had some funny neighbours in our street. We had the Kenyans. Can you lend us this? Can you lend us that? <laughs> My mum said, can you lend us two slices of bread, please? And would you cut them with the jammy knife? Some boys were really good with girls at school. What was those games we used to play, eh? Doctors and nurses. Oh, I was always the ambulance driver. <laughs> I had braces on my teeth the first time I kissed a girl. My trousers fell down. <laughs> that old prostrate problem. <coughs> I overheard two fellas talking in the pub. One had a stutter. He said to his friend, what's that prostrate problem you have? He said, it's simple. I pee the way you talk. <laughs> My father had bad blood pressure. He didn't want to get excited. <coughs> he didn't want to waken up the neighbours. So he had a brilliant idea, as fathers do. He used to hit us on the head with a slipper. <laughs> Every word he spoke, he struck. It went like this. How many times have I told you <laughs> to be in this house at 11 o'clock at night? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> the blood pressure took over. He forgot who he was. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Then he forgot who I was. <laughs> who do you think you are? When your mother got angry, she became a ventriloquist. <laughs> Get in the house. <laughs> Get up the stairs. You like to be up and about when you're on holidays. So after dinner, I went to reception. I left an early call in for the next morning. Sure enough, knock on the bedroom door, a lovely little Irish porter. Good morning, sir. Was it six o'clock or seven o'clock you want to call out? <laughs> I said, actually, it was eight o'clock. <laughs> what time is it now? He said, a quarter past 11. 